You know, when a community comes together to help the family of a little boy battling brain cancer, WBZ is often there to share their story. But tonight, that family happens to be Sarah Robleski's. You know, we have missed her here at WBZ over the past few months, and we know that you've missed her on the air. But she's right where she needs to be, and that is with her son, Declan. And tonight, the Bentley University hockey team hosted a special event to support Declan in his fight. Brandon Truitt takes us to the rink. It was Bentley University versus Sacred Heart in Waltham Friday night. But there was more to this game than the action on the ice. We're in the middle of our fourth round of chemotherapy. This time it includes stem cell transplant. Of course, you know WBZ meteorologist Sarah Robaleski. In September, her three-year-old son Declan was diagnosed with brain cancer. And there's no clear path to cure it. Because of his specific diagnosis, the doctors told us it's going to come back. There's no chance that it won't. So from after that, what do we do? We don't know. But despite that obstacle, this kid is a warrior, and he is pushing through, and he is fighting. Sarah, along with her husband, Bobby, have been rotating shifts at Boston Children's Hospital. It's where Declan has spent most of the last five months. He's lost some of his voice, hearing, and hair due to the chemo, but there have been a few moments of levity along the way. Bobby shaved his head in solidarity with his son. Declan was able to come home for Christmas. And then there's what happened Friday night. Sarah, Bobby, and their three other children dropping the puck at Bentley University's night for Declan. The man of the hour not well enough to attend, but there were so many thumbs up for Declan. It's incredible, isn't it? Their strength through all of this, but they say it's nights like tonight that really make the difference when the community shows up. This team's just just embraced him. They, they wear his, his Declan Strong wristband. Yeah. It's been impressive just how supportive they've been, how this university has just reached out. They set this night up all for Declan. A majority of the proceeds from the game go to the Toddlers Fund. Businesses throughout Waltham donated to the auction. They raised thousands here, along with the spirits of a family in the fight of their lives. These days, you just don't want to get out of bed. You have no choice but to go forward. This is the path that we're on. And there are times, believe me, that we will feel the need to break down. But for me, my way of coping is pushing through. A mother and father taking it one day at a time. In Waltham, Brandon Truitt, WBZ News. Incredible community and uh, incredible family. Uh, Declan is a warrior, as Sarah said, but mom and dad also warriors. I mean, they clearly set the tone. And to see re people rallying around them, to give them a night like this where they can feel that love and also just feel some joy um, is a real gift. And we can't wait to see Sarah back here again. We love your family. Thumbs up for Deck. Thumbs up.